read the other day we read the story about Mariana and um, how she became a butterfly. Did she really become a butterfly? No. Can someone tell me what why the story's titled Mariana Becomes a Butterfly? Yeah. Brianna. Because she gives um, the um, flowers. 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 She did. But in this story, they talked about this over here. It says the agricultural engineering story. And they're talking about an agricultural engineer, a person who is an agriculture engineer. And I'm going to read the next couple of pages. And I want you to listen. And I want you to be thinking about what kinds of jobs or what kinds of projects do you think an agricultural engineer might work on? OK? And this is the part where. Mariana is actually visiting her aunt, her tia, at, um, at her lab. Do you remember that part? If we release enough of those wasps, it could stop the mealybugs from destroying so many papayas. We call this integrated pest management. Can we all say that? Integrated pest management is another natural system, a system that uses the process of nature instead of using man-made processes. Okay, my question was, what types of things do you think, Tialetti is an agricultural engineer, what kinds of things do you think agricultural engineers do? What kinds of projects and things do they work on? Marinade? They work with, with plants and they brought it, and they and try to get bugs that are harmful away from the plants for the spraying pesticides. So what would they use instead of using pesticides? Other insects. Other insects. What do they call it? Remember those three? Integrated pest management. Well, or would, IPM. Good I job. Sure. Good job. Owen? Uh, I think that they uh, uh, hope with, because instead of spraying pesticides, uh, they, 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 they help using nature instead. Mm -hmm. Well, this play that you're going to perform and read aloud is about the integrated pest management system, the IPM, as Marinay said. Why do you think the IPM is so important? Why do you think it would be important? So that you will be able to eat things that you can grow. That's right, right. And nothing, and nothing else will be eating it, right? How many people have ever been to an apple orchard? Ah, look at you. Yes. What did the apples look like when you picked them? What did they look like when you got to pick them? Red. Nice and red, exactly. Did you have any worms in them? No. No. Would you take those kinds home? No. No. How come? So you can't eat them. You can't eat them. So today, you're going to read the play and learn about how agricultural engineers use the IPM system in the or apple. Welcome to Honeybrook Farm. Welcome to Honeybrook Farm. Apple orchard. Farmer Bob and Farmer Ann take care of the trees in the orchard all year. It's the winter time. Farmer Bob and Farmer Ann look sad and point to their orchard. The trees don't have any leaves or apples. Last year we did not have harvest many apples because we sprayed those pesticides. We are bad green caterpillars. We stay in our eggs all winter long. When it's springtime, we wake up hungry for apple blossoms. Yum! Just like to make our apples come to lunch. An agricultural engineer is apple for Engineer, this is for lunch. We are the 
apple moth larvae. We will grow to be brown apple months. We make tunnels through apples so we can eat the fruit. Finally, Farmer Ed and Farmer Bob pick, pick all the apples. Most of them are bright and red. They look very tasty. The agriculture engineers help us protect our orchard. Integrated specimens can save our apples. Pesticides were not the answer. We help nature stay balanced with integrated pest management. We will have apples for years. That's awesome. Hooray, hooray. Engineers save the day with IPM, our crops a gem. Hooray, 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 hooray. Um, what, was, what was the problem that Farmer Ann and Farmer Bob noticed in the springtime? Go back to the look in your place. See if you can find that. Springtime. It was springtime. What happened in the springtime? Who can remember? Uh, uh. Uh, Farmer Bob and Farmer Ann found out that uh, caterpillars were in the apples. So, were they a problem or were they a solution? Well, they were problems. So we're going to put this, I have this chart of, this is the apple orchard, these are the trees, this is what the trees look like in the springtime. So, let's see, they first got the, they first saw the fruit tree roller and that was a problem. So, who did they call? Who did they call? The, uh, Gracie? The um, agricultural engineers. An agriculture engineer. And what was the, the, the idea or the solution that that agricultural engineer suggested? What was the solution to get rid of fruit tree leaf roller? What a long in, in, insect that one is. Anybody? Can you see? Grace, Can you, Grace do you remember? What did they use as a solution? They, um, they brought some lady beetle larvae. They did. They brought the lady beetle larvae to, what do you think they love, la the lady tree, the lady beetle larvae is going to do? Jake, what do you think the lady beetle larvae would do to the fruit tree? Yeah, how? What will it do? How will it stop it? Does it put up a stop sign and say stop? What will it do to it? Yeah. Eat it, exactly. It's going to eat it. So that was, that was an easy way for them to take care of their problem because if they ate all the flowers, would the bees come and the insects come and pollinate it? No. no, if they don't come and pollinate, will they get any fruit? No, so they needed something to take care of the problem. So they called an agricultural engineer and the agricultural engineer suggested, mm, let's try this. Wait, what's the second one? Let's see, what, was the, what happened when they went back in the fall? Tell me, tell me what this is, Dave. Tell me what this picture is. What's glue, happening? Glue for tree trunk. Yeah, the, on the tree trunk they put some glue. And how will that help? So then they'll get stuck. When they're trying to? Climb up. Climb up. Did it work? Yeah. It sure did. So that was the solution to that problem. So I'm thinking they've, they've solved all of their problems. What aren't, they, what aren't they going to do anymore? What are they going to not do when it's winter time? In the winter time, they have to pack up all these wonderful apples. They package them. They try to sell them. What aren't they ever going to use anymore? Pesticides. Pesticides. Why, Grace? Because they hurt the, 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 the insects that they even help, they, they could even hurt the insects that help the farmer, right? Help pollinate. They may help, they may hurt the, the bumblebees or the other bugs that come to the, the butterflies that come to the apples, flowers, and pollinate those, those apples, those, those flowers to make our apples. Oh, so they were thinking. Oh, spider that camouflages in the flower that eats the bees. Exactly. Do you think that a pesticide might kill them, David? Yeah. yeah, so they would have to think about that as being a good insect. So by using pesticides, they would kill both the good ones and the bad. bad ones. So is the integrated pest management system a good thing for a farmer to understand? And who would they need to go to to get some information about the integrated pest management system? Um, the engineers. What kind do you remember? The ag 
Cultural engineer. Good job. Well, because the, the play is so um, fun, um, the kids enjoy being the different kinds of characters, and um, they actually practiced um, the parts um, outside on their own. They wanted to make sure that they had the lines down correctly. Um, so, and they did it as a group. I'm going out in the hallway, you come with me too. And they, and they practiced on their own. It wasn't somebody, something that I told them to do. They had a copy of the play. And they enjoyed just a little cap, you know, with a, with a bug on it or um, being, you know, one of the uh, farmers. Anything that shows that there's something different than themselves, they um, enjoy that. So all I did was enlarge those pictures, cut them out, put them on a piece of um, oak tag and made a little cap and that was it. And so that worked out fine. I think having them um, be so excited about reading the parts and making sure that they said the words correctly was on their own. So um, and that might be something that somebody might want to try, making sure that they heard, had a little practice for themselves because they're totally able to do it. The concept of integrated pest management system is, is a difficult one and it's a little complicated in the play because there's a lot of insects and a lot of things and a lot of actions happening. But they actually did take away the understanding of what an integrated pest management system was because later on in our classroom we had an experience where that, um, those terms came up and they totally understood it and were able to apply it on their own. Mm -hmm.